Hey everyone, welcome back to the Clinch River Homestead. I'm John and today I'm going to be doing some more work around the property here. Mainly, I'm going to be doing some backhoe work out front here to get any of the stumps that we still may have. Now the other thing I want to tackle today is way down here at the end of the property and we got just a little bit more of fence line here that we have to get rid of. Okay, so we're down here in the backyard and uh, right behind me is all of this area I got to clear here. There's a ton of barbed wire in there too. I know I got some of it out, but I'm not sure. Well, let me get everything set up down here. And while I'm doing that, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. For those of you who haven't seen our previous video when we were taking down all the rest of this i'm going to show you exactly what's in this fencing material so as you can see all this barbed wire in here got the whiz wheel we go in and start cutting this barbed wire out down to here and We'll finish out taking out the rest of this once I get that done. Oh, such a beautiful day out. What's the weather like we're here at today? Drop it down in the comments section. So I got all the barbed wire done. Now I'm just gonna go through and get the rest of these tree limbs out with the small chainsaw. Now I'm tired. I just got to haul everything up here to this pile. It's going to be our next burn pile for this area. So. Well, I think it's about time for a break. I'm gonna go back and get the tractor. I got some battle wounds, but I sweat too much to be all covered up. I know a lot of people are gonna say, wear long sleeves and wear long pants, and I just can't do it. I'd be drenched. I'm almost drenched now. <laughs> Always remember to hydrate when you're working outside. You don't realize how much you sweat. I'm gonna pack everything up in the UTV. All right, I'm down here at the tractor now. So before we go up and take it and start using it today, I'm going to uh, start greasing up all the fittings on the front end with the Milwaukee power greasing tool thingy. And this is the stuff that you want to get off of here before you start greasing it up. Just the way there's no dirt or anything. Now for all the people that have a problem cleaning these grease fittings off, I want to give you a little tip of what you can do to help clean that out. And what I'll do is take a piece of paper towel, put it over the tip of a screwdriver kind of like this, take that, and I'll just put it around that fitting. I'll just go around them a couple times. And that'll get all the grease out. So one thing I was thinking about while I'm cleaning these grease fittings off is the last time I tried to put grease in the backhoe. Well, I thought I was greasing the backhoe up, but I really wasn't greasing anything. Let me explain what I'm talking about. So when you put grease in your grease fitting here, the way you're gonna know that you've got enough inside is that you're gonna see grease start coming out in between all the joints here. Well, what was happening to me is when I was putting grease in here, the grease gun would pretty much tap out as far as how much pressure it could put in and then what was happening 
it would pretty much stop on me. So at that point I thought, okay, we've got enough grease in the fittings. Well, that was not the case. So what I wound up doing is removing this little set uh, nut and bolt right here and then tapping out the little pin that goes in here. Well, when I tapped that pin out, it actually had a groove worn in that pin from this Zerk fitting, not this one because I replaced it, but from the Zerk fitting that was here, which was brass, I believe, and it actually had a moon shape in the fitting itself from rubbing up against that pin. And the grease, it was so tight of a clearance that the grease could not get past that opening. I mean, there really wasn't much of an opening between the Zerk fitting and the pin. And it was like that since I bought it. So for all of you Branson tractor owners, and if Branson's listening, make sure you do a little QC on your Zerk fittings so that they're not grinding into the little into the pin that goes through all the joints because that's going to eliminate or that's going to prohibit the grease from being able to be dispersed properly through the system here to make sure that it's all lubricated inside the pin system. So for any Branson tractor owners, if you don't see grease coming out of here, then you do not have enough grease in there. And I would recommend to take that fitting out and see if yours is doing exactly what mine was doing. So I just thought I'd let everybody know about that. I didn't get to do a video on that. I really should have uh, when I was taking it all apart. But FYI, everyone. All right, let me finish greasing up the front end. Whew. All right, got all that done. So now all I'm gonna do is hook up the forks onto the front. And this way I can move a couple of those trees I need to, so. All right, we're on our way up here now. We planted some winter rye grass seed probably a couple weeks ago. And I didn't think it was gonna take because nothing was growing. But, I don't know if you can see all down in here now, all that grass of course we had some rain and it started washing it around but I'm starting to get patches of the winter rye coming up now. So we're going to tackle this up here in a little bit. First thing I got to do, I got a pallet of sand over here. I'm going to hopefully just pick this pallet up of sand and move it somewhere. Move it somewhere. I'll probably... Yeah, So the next objective is down here we've got this tree right here in front of me and the one behind it is that one with all them big spines on it. So I want to get these up, put them in the pile and then uh, once that's done I can move on to the front of the property and we can start getting all of the, uh, getting all the stumps out there. <laughs> We're up at the front now and I'm going to start digging up some of these stumps here. So. Um, I've got a, quite a bit behind me. Now, I don't know how many I'll be able to get up completely, but we'll see. The only thing I gotta be careful of is we got a water line that runs out front of here, so I'm not gonna go near that. Okay, so I'm finished here. I'm gonna reposition the tractor. Well, I think I'm about ready to call it a day. I'm getting pretty tired out here. The sun is still beating down on me. And maybe tomorrow I'll get the UTV and I'll start gathering up all the bricks that I dug out of here. So, in any case, thanks everybody for watching the Clinch River Homes said today. If you have any questions, post those down below in the comments. And uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. We really appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you all in the next one.